what you wanted to show me. To watch her utter a curse that's always brought death, only to die in vain. And you just let it happen? Calm down. Calm down. She's dead, right there. You murderer. We have already repeated this experiment many times. Many times? What? You've sent people to their deaths over and over again? Look at you, Adler, peeing your pants over a curse. The human boy is so scared that he forgot to ask the crucial question. Did the ritual work? But, what do you mean? The curse, the side effect killed her. The experiment failed. Is that not what happened? No, triggering the curse and failure are two separate things. I was the first one to recite the incantation, way before Dora. When I read it aloud, it worked. I felt the warmth of a miraculous blessing on my head. Soft, light as a feather. I told Madame Lucy right away, but as soon as she left the room, the curse hit me, and I began to liquefy. There was no one else in the room. My liquid form had become too insubstantial to push the help button. A long darkness followed. After that, I woke up again in my original primitive form, the way I first came into this world. Original primitive form? Unlike humans, the Awakened have neither flesh nor nerves. We are pieces of consciousness, echoes of a primordial melody that just happen to reside in material objects by chance. With a mind and a body combined, we could talk, learn, think like you do, and perform the experiment and endure the side effects. And this curse, for some reason, cannot affect the primal consciousness that caused our awakening in the first place. While human minds dissipate when their tangible bodies are destroyed, our minds reawaken regardless of the changes and destruction of our external bodies. Of course, this was an assumption based on idealized circumstances, and I needed another awakened being who could awaken in different bodies to confirm my theory. That is why I sought out Madame Lucy for cross-verification. The results? Yes, it was an assumption! You said it yourself! You came back to life this time, but what about the next? Nothing is for sure in Arcanum. What if she never wakes up again? What if she dies for good? We know what we are doing, human. Stay out of this. Only the Awakened can carry out the experiment. So we must proceed. This has nothing to do with race. It is a sense of duty that every researcher should have possessed when they chose this path. We have to go beyond the limit. Not out of madness, but out of rationality. Hmm. We seem to have replicated effect number two. And 117 of the Coleman Lab's protective rituals were proven ineffective. Write it down, Simone. This is the fourth time we have seen it. Also, number 45 and 69 are related to it. We need to speed up. This is too slow.
Adler, what are you doing here? I am glad to see you out of your room and working with us again. No, he's not on the team, Mum. He forced his way in here. Oh? My apologies. I seem to lose a small amount of data when I reawaken. Still, I am glad that you are showing initiative, Adler. Were we supposed to talk? No. We have nothing more to discuss, ma'am. Ulrich has filled me in on everything. But I still worry whether the experiment's risks were properly assessed. Assessments will only be assessments. Much is beyond measure when it comes to Arcanum. Perhaps Faith plays a more important role here. I'm surprised it is you talking about Faith, ma'am. Hmm. It seems we both have the ability to surprise each other. You are right. Assessments could indeed be useful to us. It allows us to know the probabilities of success and failure based on established facts and past experience. But when we find ourselves in uncharted darkness, with no information or past experience to guide us, how are assessments going to help us? The only thing we have in such darkness is the unwavering faith to move forward. When the first steam engine whistled, I awoke into this world. At the beginning of this new life, my circuits were charged with a singular primal desire to progress. In the midst of that never-ending whistle, I have watched man build the towers of science and knowledge, and I have watched them unleash chaos and destruction. You too have been lost and deterred, but your engines of progress have never stopped churning. Always move forward, no matter the destination you told yourselves. Until the storm brought everything to a standstill. But this is just a small setback. We are only back to the beginning where we stumble blindly. And this time, I happen to have a cane. No need to worry about me. I will not shut down as long as there is still hope for progress. Hmm. We have wasted a bit of time on data recovery. Come, Simone. Let us begin the next experiment. I hope to dissolve into pace this time, so we can easily handle it with a Coleman's Ritual of Transformation. Seen enough? We know what we are doing and you are of no help here. It's been the same old story in this place for the past eight years. When your faith crumbled during the storm, it was us who took over the place and cleaned up after you. It was us who got things back up and running, put coals in the hearth, and blazed a trail when everyone was lost in the dark. I know you may not understand the intricacies of the Arcanum, but please, show some basic respect for our efforts. Will you do the experiments yourself, Ulrich? Of course. 
I am not some emotional, unhelpful little punk. Do you still remember Adams? Adams, Roman, Adolf, Sylvia, Albert, Louise, those who were taken from us by the rain. Melvin, Francis, Caroline, Leopold. They volunteered for the field, but we never heard from them again. Now we have Dora, Richard, Dawkins, and Victor on the list. Life has a wicked sense of humor. My mentor, my classmates, my colleagues. Each of them deserved to live more than me. But they're all gone now. There's only me talking to you. A life. Useless. Am I going to see your names on that list too, Ulrich? Spare me the feelings, human. Though I will take back my sarcastic jabs at you, it is not something a leader should do. Madam Lucy talked to me about the importance of teamwork. Go back to your room, Adler. The Arcanists will take over from here. Until we get the results, you won't be needed here. I will say this, Ulrich. If you survive the experiments... I will submit the sincerest application to never be on the same team as you again. So neither of us will have to worry about teamwork. How's that sound? <laughs> I will wait for that application, Adler. There. Adler Hoffman from the cryptography team. Is Medicine Pocket in? I heard that they wrote a paper on the linear correlation between the purity of an Arcanist bloodline and their power. Can I get some more details on the research? The paper is here. Help yourself. Sorry about the stains on it. I just took it out of the trash. If you're looking for Medicine Pocket, I'm afraid they just left. Left? To where? They left the building? Hasn't the countdown already begun? Um, yes, and by regulations we are not to leave, but, um... They said their new theory had to be verified in the storm. <laughs> <laughs> 